Hey y'all, here's a lesson on Reeling in the Ears by Steely Dan. Now I did one of these about a month ago and I showed you kind of how the double harmony guitarist thing went and how to improvise in the Mixolydian mode. But today we're going to talk about the verse chords and all that and we're going to talk about the first solo uh, by Elliot Randall. Now the story goes that Steely Dan would have lots of different, of course, studio musicians come in to try to find the right guy for the right tune. But this became one of their very biggest songs, one of their earliest big hits, and had basically the most important solo of probably any of their songs, I would say. And I heard that they um, went through seven, eight, nine, who, many, who knows how many people before they settled on Elliot Randall. He had come up with the great sound and the great notes to go with the intro of Reeling in the Ears. So here we go. Okay, so the backing chords on this are G to A. So what I'm doing is going... So I'm going like basically on the bass note of this G chord. And it's a swing thing, so instead of one and two and so I go one, uh, two, uh... So that's just a chord down and up, kind of in the same fashion. Dunk, da, dunk, da. So it's kind of like bass, bass chord, chord, bass, bass chord, chord. And I like to play the A, that one finger A where I'm muting the bottom E string. That's an easy one to get to. You know, you could play whatever A you want, but that's a rock and roll A. Okay, so let's break down that solo. So the first riff, the first riff is seven to six to five, double pull off on the second string. So you go. So you're gonna do that same double hammer to get the five, six, seven on the way back. So it's seven, six, five, and then you hit the five again, and then you do five, six, seven, down to the little five. And then you go five, seven, and that's a little hammer on and pull off. You hold that seventh fret a little bit before you pull it off. So it's. And then on the record he goes. So he has two little chicks there and kind of the bottom strings or something around there. And then you can hit that um, chick kick, one of these fives and then a hammer on down to the five to seven, down to the five there. So all together we got. And the chicks. So that was. And then two fives. And that's a quick hammer. And kind of another held note before the pull off there. So we got. And then we're going to go. So that was hammer on five to seven on the second string and a little tiny bend on that C note on the third string down to the seventh fret E of the fifth string. So you're gonna go seven, seven to nine and seven, seven to nine. And then, so that started with the ninth fret D string, and then it does a hammer on pull off. So it's like four of those things. And then you're gonna go, so that's gonna be two sevens, fifth string and fourth string, hammering to the ninth fret of the fifth string. You wanna keep it tall enough that you still hear the lower note. And that was five to four on the A string, five O on the E string. So let's look at all that. So when we add the five O, we're gonna go two to the A of the, uh, the open of the A string. So five, O, oh, two, O. Oh. That next thing is we're sliding from the two quickly into the four, the C sharp there on the A string. 
and doing the two and two over here on the D string and G string. So we got. Okay, then we're gonna have, that's part of a G chord, four, three, three. Then we're gonna slide into the seven on the G string. Then we're gonna hit the seven on the bottom E string. And do the same thing to the 11 and 10 over here. So we're on the third string and first string at this point. So let's say we go from the... In one of the books I've seen, they kind of have a, a prelude note before this high note starts going down, and they say it's this. So you, know, you can use your ear and figure that out to see what you like better. So that's a tricky part. So we got um And so your frets are gonna be 15th fret, 14th, 12, 10, 9, 7, 5, and 3. So if you slow it down, it's just da da dum da da dum da da dum da da dum. And then that one pulls off to the open. Then you're gonna go three, 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 three. And that was four on the, so that three, three was first string and second string. And then four on the third string. Four, four, three, five on the D string. And then you go, oh, five, five. Three, four, five, five, and then open on that D string. Two, three, four, five, five, oh, and that's seven on the D string to a tiny bend on that C note in the G string. That's your E note, seventh fret, A string. Dum, dum, da, dum, dum. Okay, so I'll go through the whole thing over time, kind of slow. Now let's get into the verse thing. So once we get the, we got. Okay, so that's the first part. We're gonna go, oh two four five, and then that becomes part of a D chord, like a five four two, and you want to make sure you're muting the other strings. So we want kind of, we're just gonna be using those three strings mostly on this part. And that's a part of an A chord, but with a C sharp bass. So they call that A slash C sharp. That's a B power chord, so that's two, four, four to the A. So bum, bum, bum. And what I'm doing is I'm going up, down, and then hitting those two middle strings, but staccato, and I'm stopping those chords quick with the upstroke. Now we're going to go down a string to the D, two, four, five, to a G shape. This is a D shape with an F sharp bass. And I like to use this finger because it helps me get that shape and come into this one easier than if I got the pinky involved. So 
So that one is a D chord with an F bass this time, as opposed to like that F sharp bass. So it has a more minor sound, it has an F. Back to the A, and then back to the A string, the original riff. And then we're ready for the G to A. Let's go to that verse again. Here's how the solo kind of finishes. So let's go ahead on to that double harmony, harmony guitars thing they got going here. So I'm gonna get this little loop going. The first part. Here comes the second part. Okay, so you've seen me play those parts, now I'm gonna break those down slower. So first we got the G string open. So that was open G. And then two, four on the D string, back to that. Two, four again, and then. That was O, oh, two, four, two. And then we're. So that was A, A, second fret of the G string. Two, four. You got a two three two to the two of the other strings. So you want to keep those two strings barred to be able to do that quicker. So that's two three two to two, and then five two on the second string to the two. So let's try that real slow. Two, three, four. Here's the second part. It's going to start on the open uh, B string. Open, open, O to 2 on the G. And the same types of patterns, but with just different notes. We're going to use the 2 and the 3 down here. So. so that was. And then we're going to shift to here. And that way could be a hammer on pull off, or you just go however you want to do it. So that one is O two O to two on the second string, five to open back to the two. Let's do that one real slow. Two, three, and.
hope you all dug that. And um, I'm probably gonna throw some tabs in on this one. We'll do another one later on in a few weeks or something. And we'll talk about the other solo later in the song. So thanks a lot. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know if you have any requests. Got a little list of requests going now. So I'll be chopping away at them pretty soon. So thanks a lot. Appreciate you.